Hey there YouTubers, welcome back to our Excel VBA is Fun user form series. Today we're going to talk about, we're going to add a user form that has two options. You can either sort this table automatically by the employee ID or by the name, which is sort of sorted by last name, comma, first name, so it'll sort alphabetically by last name. So you see we have socials, departments, date of birth, date of employment, favorite color. Now that's not usually on an employee list, but you know, had to build a little bit of a database here. So anyway, let's get started. Alt F11 gets you to the Visual Basic Editor, as you should know by now. I'm going to scoot the properties window down just a smidge. And we're going to add a new user form by clicking on this button here and clicking user form. And I'll move my toolbox over to the side. We have this one's called user form 2. I'm going to rename it by clicking in the properties window. By the way, if you don't have the properties menu, you can hit F4 to bring it up, or you can go to view and where is it at? Properties window. We're going to double click on the property called the name. The name of this user form is going to be called uh, sort form. That's good. It'll be the sort form. It will name, we'll change the caption to say uh, choose choose sort option. We're going to add a couple option buttons. This one and this one. And we'll actually I'll leave that crooked. I'll show you a little trick. Add a little button at the bottom and add a cancel button just for fun. In the last video you saw how to essentially add a cancel button that hides the form. So let's go ahead and program that one. We're going to rename it BTN Cancel. You can name it whatever you want. I like to keep mine concise and make sense. Double click. When that is pressed, we're going to say sort form. That's the name of our form. Dot hide. Let's go back here. This one, we're going to highlight the caption here. You could type it in the caption right there. I like to highlight it where I can see it. This one will be uh, sort. So, and then of course, I'll name it BTN for button, sort, button sort. That way I can recognize it later. These two I'm going to highlight. You're going to, sh I'll show you a trick how to align them. It will, uh, I'm going to click on this one first because I want it ultimately to align the lefts with the top button. So if you select that one, whichever one you select last is highlighted in white instead of these black bars. And so it'll take the properties and features from this one. So let's right click go to align and we'll align the lefts and you notice I didn't have to click to align them. Change the caption of this button we'll say um, sort by employee ID this one we will say by name keep it real simple. Okay so we can click on one click on the other now let's record, oh, I forgot to show you our objectives. Our objectives right now are to make two option buttons. We've done that. Now we're going to record uh, us sorting that database the regular way, and then we'll take that and tweak it to our buttons, and we'll make it sort one way or the other. So let's go to step two. We've got to record. Go to Developer tab, record a macro, and I'm not interested in giving it any names or details right now. I'll just do our normal thing here. Let's see, data rib and sort. And the first time we'll sort it by the employee na uh, employee ID. Hit OK. Sort anything, numbers and text that's stored like numbers, because these are actually text because they start with a zero. So yeah, that's fine. Now let's sort it the other way just for kicks. Let's sort it by the name. OK, that's good. So. Let's go ahead and hit Alt F11 and check out the latest um, module. Should be module number five. Has our latest thing here. It does. All right. So let's let's study this for a moment. I'm going to close my immediate window. So we selected A1 through G8. Uh, we have active workbook worksheets. So all this stuff just to say the name of the worksheet that we're on. Sort DB and then dot sort. Dot, so we're clearing out the last sort and then we are adding a key which the range is going to be A2 through A8 and we sort by that 
Then we set the range. So uh, this may be a little intimidating, but I promise this is super easy. Let's just take this whole uh, this whole section right here. Copy it. Control C, and we will go back to our sort form. Let's set the code for whenever you click sort. Okay. Oops. We didn't give these a name, did we? Okay. Option button one is going to be uh, O B for option button. Let's call it EMP, and this one will be OB name. So double click on the button. Let's see what we're going to program to this button being clicked, the sort button being clicked. We're going to go ahead and paste that, and we can tweak it in just a second. Let's get our sort area, and uh, we know that LR, um, we're going to get the last row. And if you've seen my video on getting the bottom or last row, uh, and I also use type pilot to get this LR code, and it plugs that in right there for me. First, we're gonna uh, here's another another video I did uh, declaring a worksheet name. We're gonna dim S D sheet as a worksheet, and then we'll uh, we'll go ahead and set what it's called. We're gonna set SD sheet equals this workbook dot sheets and it is uh, sort DB that's our sheet name so from now on we can use SD sheet for our sheet name so I'm copying here and it's already recognizing that as a worksheet object so SD sheet that specific sheets last row right here and right here Okay, now we're gonna we're going to set a what I call a sort area, sort A, and what is our sort area going to be? It's going to be well, it's going to be that particular sheet, SD sheet dot. Uh, we could do a range, SD sheet dot range, and what's the range? It's always going to start with A two, so it'll be A two through. G something or other. So A2 through G, end that with the quotes, and we'll do an ampersand, and we'll say whatever in the world the row is for the last row. So A2 through G, whatever row it is. And that's how we set the sort area. Now we can copy this sort area in a couple places. First of all, anywhere where it says active workbook dot worksheets, sort DB, we can simply replace that with SD sheet because we already told Excel that that's what SD sheet means. I could do a massive find replace here also but I'm not going to. So alright um, I'm going to copy my sort area that we've just set as an object to equal that uh, that range there and where are we going to put that? We can put that as the key. The key is going to be sort A, which is A2 through G, whatever. And uh, also the set range, well, that's going to be whatever our, our object here is sort A. So now we have a little bit more dynamic. Okay. Um, so the first step is we clear the last fields. Then we're going to add sort fields dot add a key, which is the sort area let's see oh no I take that back that's that's going to be let's take this and copy and paste it okay you'll see what I'm doing here in just a second so the first one will uh, if we're going to sort by the employee ID then we need to use column A exclusively so A2 through A whatever in this case column 8 so and then Let's go ahead and I'm gonna I'm gonna actually select all this in the shift tab. That way it's all nicely organized here. I'm going to add a line here that says if uh, well we we don't even have to say sort form. If we're writing code within there, we can just say if me dot if me dot ob so if if me dot option button employee equals true, meaning that one was checked, whoops, then 
I take back, let's take all this and indent it. So if the employee option button is true, then sort all this stuff this way by column A. Okay. Um, and then we'll go here and say otherwise, which is you say else. Um, or you could even say else if me.ob name equals true, then a little overkill, but it's just for learning purposes. If that's true, then let's copy and paste this and just tweak it ever so slightly. And then, of course, we say end if to end our if then statement there. And let's even make a note to ourselves here. Using a apostrophe, we'll say sort by employee. And here we'll say sort by name. Okay. There we go. Now. So if it is the if it's the name that we're wanting to sort by, then we'll take this sheet and we'll sort it by column uh, B, B2 through B, whatever row, and that should actually do it. The and then this goes through and says that the in the range is is this. Um, the header you can say XL yes, XL no, or XL guess, G U E S S. And you may have, uh, in fact, I typically don't say yes, but we'll see what happens here. Because I've had instances for some reason it would actually sort the columns out after a little while. It gets weird. So, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and change that to XL no, and it'll automatically capitalize that for us. I think we're almost there, actually. Let's go ahead and load up our user form. You can hit F5 at this point. So, let's choose our sort option. Employee ID. Let's click sort. I got my fingers crossed here. Okay, it's sorted by the employee ID number. Let's click name. It should put uh, Bob the Builder next after William Madison. So, let's sort it by name. And sure enough, it works. So, it's sorted this whole field. Now you notice I can't click outside of there. If I hit cancel, it does hide the form. Um, so, uh, but you don't have to have all this highlighted. In fact, uh, this list could grow. I'm going to show you. Um, so my new entry here would actually go to the top if we sorted by name. And it would probably be last. Yeah, it'd be last if we sort by employee ID. So let's go ahead and boot up that thing again. Double click here, and we can just click the play button right there. So we have our. Let's let's really put it to the test now. I added one, so the last row will now be nine for the whole code. So let's do it by employee ID. And what in the world just happened? Oh, oh, employee ID, of course. So this is last. If we do it by name, it'll put this new person on the top. Great. We have a dynamic sorting. And I could add, whoops, I could add more and more people as you've seen. And, um, or, uh, and then it would actually put this one first, I imagine. And this one would probably be last. So let's do that one more time, just for good measure, just for good measure. Click the play button there. Employee, let's do it by name. Still correct. Shaka Zulu and last. Let's do it by employee. So it's dynamic. As your coworkers or as you start adding people to this database, you can have it sort by your little buttons here. And uh, there's even ways to make that flashing go away so it's just, boom, you can't even see it. It's just so fast. Using screen updating and whatnot. We'll get into more of that later. Thank you for watching. God bless.